Se la comieron las ardillas. Got a broken pipe. Something happened to it. We're not sure. Maybe it was a squirrel or a raccoon or a tree. So we're gonna attempt to repair the pipe, the flashing around it, and not damage any shingles. We've got some extra shingles just in case some of these shingles are too old and they break. Okay. Get us? <laughs> I know. Everybody. Did I make it out the park roofing? I said, uh, ER. <laughs> yep. That's why we were ranked on the first page already. Name change. Because uh, we're, we're different. Right. Stand out. There's a new one. You can go to arcroofer.com for your next repair.
put nails on the top and the sides. They're actually just the sides mostly. ice and water protective barrier similar to an adhesive rubber membrane to make sure the pipe is sealed correctly to avoid any future leaks this is not a code requirement down here in texas however it is something part of arc roofer standards which we do on every single roof. And some people may call this overkill, but this is just something that makes sure that we guarantee no leaks for the life of the roof. Manipulate that in there, flatten it out. Luckily, the shingles are not too old to where they're not breaking or cracking, otherwise, we would have to replace the shingles as well. Reinstall new nails. Okay, and here in about a couple weeks, everything should reseal, flatten out. And you want to maybe, can we, you want to cut it a little higher? Or maybe, maybe like up to here? Or, and then can we fold it? Or I guess it doesn't matter the, it's the height. So. It doesn't matter. Okay. So we're going to cut this pipe maybe a little higher than the previous pipe just to make it look better. Yeah. yeah. And these pipes are made of lead, so they're very malleable. They're easy to cut. But we use the lead over the rubber and plastic because they're never going to crack or break due to so much sun exposure and heat here in Texas. So we'll go ahead and kind of mold some of that over. Maybe we cut four cuts and then fold it in and kind of overlap it as much as we can inside the other pipe, you know? Yeah, probably like, yeah. Just enough to fold, fold this into the other one just by like that much maybe. That way we don't have to replace the actual pipe or add an extension because that would just require so much more money for the homeowner, so much more time, and it's just not necessary when we could do it the, this way. Give you the same guarantee, same protection, and saves the homeowner hundreds of dollars. And we've got a little can of uh, spray paint. We'll go ahead and spray paint the uh, the pipe when we're done. Mm, 
Maybe re redo that one. Yep. Uh, here, I got a putty knife. Might be able to cut those corners at a, like a triangle. Nice. Está muy bueno. Abraham's the man. Okay, and then we'll seal any cracks. Just as a precaution. We always strive to over deliver here at Arc Roofer. Okay. Good. We successful without cracking or breaking any shingles. And I'm going to step back here during the paint process. and paint the pipe to match the roof color so it blends in nicely. Okay, there's the finished product. Okay, good job, Abraham. Thanks, man. All right, this is our lead crew right here. He's uh, been in this industry almost his whole life. And he, uh, we were blessed to have him a part of our team.